Welcome back fellow travelers and today in this video I'm gonna do a full walkthrough of the new area in the San Diego Zoo. It's called the Wildlife Explorers Base Camp and it opened in March of 2022. The footage you are currently seeing right now was taken on May 2022, so two months after the grand opening. I have just been very bad at editing and posting on my YouTube as soon as I get home. So here in 2024, I'm showing you what it looked like and it's still relatively the same. They have just interchangeable attractions in the area. So as soon as you enter the zoo, you're gonna actually turn left and you're gonna pass the reptile area and then continue walking until you see the entrance to the sky tram. Past that, you will see the huge sign that says Wildlife Explorers Base Camp. And that area is completely for kids. It's meant to be for children and their families. And I think they do a really great job in incorporating learning activities and making it very family friendly than they had before. For anyone interested in ticket prices, an adult one day pass will get you at 72, while a children's pass for the day will get you at 62. I live in San Diego. It is my, as you can say, Disneyland to come to the zoo. So I get the membership and it costs me 120 per year for the San Diego resident. Now, as soon as you walk in, you're gonna see many attractions. There's going to be a playground. There's going to be, I believe, three other entrances that you can go into the Critters and Bugs exhibition. My preferred entrance is going through the Spineless Marvels entrance because the minute you walk in, they really set the tone that you're entering this other world of small critters and I love to just immerse myself in what I'm going to be looking at and learning about. They really thought about the concept, the art, the what a child would really find really cool and really like magical when they see animals and critters. For any of you that don't like critters, bugs, insects, I suggest you don't come into this section because that's all you're gonna see here. You're gonna see bugs, you're gonna see insects, you're gonna see bees, there are spiders, and as you continue in through the building, you're also going to see reptiles and snakes. So a little bit of warning if you don't enjoy any of those things, then you might as well hang back and not go to the windows because that's what the majority of the viewing critters are and if you can't handle that then they do have enough space for people that don't want to see them but they still want to see the building and the exhibition and the information so just a little heads up So the Wildlife Explorers Base Camp is a 3.2 acre, state-of-the-art, multi-ecosystem experience designed to provide guests of all ages with an up-close look at nature and offer fresh, high-tech, interactive opportunities that nurture empathy for wildlife and encourage future caretakers of the planet.
Another great thing about the San Diego Zoo is that they allow you to bring outside food into the park. So, so I think it's great that you can bring your own snacks, your own uh, sandwiches in small containers. You're also welcome to bring your own water or beverages as long as they're non-alcoholic. And you can have your own picnic in any area of the park and just enjoy a quick break and a quick snack by not having to really break the bank and enjoy the bazoo and enjoy all the animals while you're there with either your friends or your family. This is my favorite area of the building. It's called the Pollinator Experience. And it's basically a giant beeswax fragrant honeycombs area. And you can also observe thousands and thousands of honey bees just creating their honeycombs, their uh, honey in this massive viewing area. It is really amazing to see it up close because usually you only see that and you think of danger. So this place is really informative and it's a really great experience because it gives you an up close encounter counter with how a beehive works and continues to grow which is really amazing and you rarely see that now as you walk outside through the doors at this moment in time they didn't have anything in this section it looks like they're trying to prepare it for an inhabitant but at the time they didn't have anything so we went past into the next section which, which is the rainforest and they ha do have a couple of inhabitants there Now once you get to the next part of the building, this is another favorite part of mine because it is the reptile slash egg incubator area. And it's just really cool to see how they give you the science-y area that they use to help incubate reptile eggs and help them grow and they show you and educate you on what the different sizes are. I thought that was really amazing. Making it feel like you were stepping into like the Jurassic Park scientist laboratories where they worked on all the baby dinosaurs. It's awesome.
And once you walk out those doors, you are completely done with the whole building. There also is a downstairs section where you is called the marshmallows. And that's another entrance you can get into the building to see the critters. But instead of going through how we walked into the butterfly uh, insect area, you're going to be walking like you see right here through marshes through water ecosystems, through areas that you could just say fish and turtles and a lot of other cool animals before you get to the inside building where we were at. Now the next part of the Explorers Base Camp we have is this stage right here. This is stage is important because they bring animals up close for a show and tell presentation and it's a really fun experience and you get to see different types of species and learn about their habitats and what they eat and their ecosystems. Now this is the massive jungle gym and suspension bridge they created for the children and families mostly for the children um, and it's just really cool it's really safe there is a slide there is also a little area that you can see animals from a different habitat that is a really big tree house basically for jungle gym for kids In the lower levels of the tree house, there's a squirrel monkey uh, exhibit. There's also a water play, waterfall that the kids and their families can play around when it's warmer weather. And they also have a boulder uh, scramble made to encourage exploration. So this whole area is just a great big adventure and exploration area for kids to just enjoy. Now as you head back to the beginning area of the Explorer's Base Camp, you are going to see an area for face painting. There's more jungle gym and activities for kids to play around and just enjoy themselves. There's a lot of seating areas for families. And overall, this is a massive space. It, it is a thousand times better than what they had before. I spent half of my time just exploring this whole area maybe even more because you can spend it just relaxing and then going back to see another section or enjoying the jungle gym for the kids i think they did a really great job and i'm excited to see how they keep renovating and implementing more things because they still have a lot of room to add different habitats or activities for kids so i hope you guys enjoyed this th long but thorough video walkthrough of what the base camp explorers area looks like 
and thank you for sticking around if you did watch the whole video i i still go back to see the insects to see the habitats it's such an amazing addition to the san diego zoo and i will be doing more zoo vlogs so don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out